there's your king bullet. Look at that compared to that. Pretty close, right? So lookalikes. You know, really good idea to get these uh, mushrooms. We're in Ontario, of course, so uh, get a book of mushrooms Ontario and see what you're dealing with. And the other thing is, if you don't know what you've got, don't eat them. Um, you know, some people really toy around with these and some can kill you. I'm sure they're all around here. I think we saw the destroyer of angels or the death caps and the whole bunch of stuff around here. And it's, it's not pretty um, the way you die from it. So make sure you know what you're dealing with. Get online, uh, get on the forums, but also keep in mind that people on the forums aren't always, uh, you know, it's the internet, right? So not everything is very factual. Come on this way, maybe we'll find more. So this is the first place that I found uh, Hen of the Woods. And when I found it, I took, I wasn't quite sure that they were Hen of the Woods, of course I wanted to confirm it. Um, but you can see where I cut off some here. I cut off a clump right there. Um, and I cut off part of this clump as well. And they looked a lot different than the stage they're at right now. And that's only about a week ago, a week and a half. Uh, these were quite small when I did cut them and I wanted to see if they'd keep growing and of course they did But they do look like they're maturing a Lot different than when I first got them and I'll put a picture up so you guys can see it This is at the base of an old oak tree. This is primarily an oak forest. There's some soft maple But it seems like a lot of the, the chicken of the woods and the hens that I'm finding are around these uh, These oak and sometimes you don't have to go very far. This is only about two minutes from my sawmill and I just happened to walk through and I found this. Um, I found some chicken of the woods right beside my camp on my wood pile growing off a, an oak, 16 inch oak log that we bypassed for about two weeks um, while we'd go foraging out in the middle of nowhere and of course they went kind of bad because um, we left them too long but we didn't know they were even there. So you know instead of letting these go um, to see how big they're gonna get. You know what, maybe I'll leave this one, Kai, just as an experiment. What do you think? Sure. You know, then we'll take a, we'll come back in a couple days and see at what stage it's at, um, how it looks as well. But I'm also gonna mark this spot on my GPS and I'll probably put a pink ribbon up here. I've been doing that with all these places just so I know exactly where to come back for them. Because we don't wanna lose this uh, spot because next year, these are gonna come back. Well, you know what? I'll leave that little one there too. So I have these two little ones. We'll come back in a little while and see what they're like. But these are super excellent. I'm going to show you how um, I cook them and I preserve them. Um, I just use a vacuum sealer and uh, we vacuum seal them right in the bag. But these are really tasty. Okay, let's go see if we can find some more. You want to do some more foraging today? I think we should. There's a lot of there's a lot of mushrooms out here today. You know, it's, there's, it's, a, it's a rewarding feeling looking around and if you have your little book with you, you can figure out what you have and um, like I said, just don't start cooking up everything you see. But these little guys, these are excellent. You know, I thought the season was pretty much done for these because I found I'm going to say about 60 pounds that were kind of all turning white and they're very fibrous. But today we found two more lumps and we're probably going to, you know, the only problem with these are they're so huge and then you have to carry like 20 or 30 pounds of it out of the bush, which isn't a real problem. It means that you've scored. As far as I know, like one other lookalike, maybe two, is uh, the northern uh, northern tooth which really isn't a lookalike, it's a white fungus that grows on a tree. Um, this is an oak tree, of course. Uh, and there's another one, which is a reishi. I think it's a reishi, reishi. But uh, really, honestly, like this is, this is a classic example of it. And this one's still good. The, the, the tips of it are kind of rubbery. What would you, what would you think, what would you compare that to? Kind of, yeah. It's a funny material actually, but these are one of the best tasting things going. They're kind of like a chicken substitute. Um, I, I, I say they taste like chicken, 
and mushroom, if that makes any sense. I think it makes a lot of sense. You think it makes sense? Uh, chick, uh, chick, mushroom eat chicken? If you leave any of it behind, uh, you know, expecting to come back for more, gets, you're not going to get it. it uh, as soon as you cut it, the bugs get into it. So it's best to just take it while you can. I think a fillet knife would be best for this baby. Oh my god. Look at that. That's what the underside looks like. Right there. And this one's good because it's not punky on the outside. As soon as they get kind of hollowish, kind of like a, like a hard styrofoam, then they're no good. Wow, that's awesome, bud. These dehydrate really well and we vacuum seal these and we freeze them. I'll show you how to cook them when we get home. Nice. Huck that in there, bud. That's a big one. You get to carry that. Hopefully we find 15 more pounds of it. Just to make you work hard today. Nice. Yeah, this is an oak tree. Apparently they grow on uh, maple as well. But, uh, that's some good eating right there. I just came across these fellas. And these, they look good. Oh, those are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still very old and very nice and clean. Look at that. I mean, it's a bright day today. You still see them because they're so bright, but on a really, like a rainy, dark, dank day, that's a really good time to go foraging for these guys because they just, pop right out of the forest. You see them really easily. Some people carry a fillet knife to do this. I just use my buck knife because it's what I have. You know what? If we keep coming back every year to the same place, these will be here or very close by. And most of these are growing on these cut stumps and or on the very old cut stumps as well. So, you know, that might give you a, a little bit of a hint of something to look for. Oh, look at that slug. He's sort of gnawing away there. I'll leave him that bit. He ate that one too. Wow, bud. You gonna be able to carry all these? Look at that super, old, super duper old paint can. What's in there, anything? No more paint. People used to just throw their garbage out back in places like this. This one, that one I'm gonna leave. Wow. I just sort of caught that out of the corner of my eye. Every once in a while when you're walking through, you just sort of stop and you just sort of scan. I didn't expect it to be here. I find that, you know, these the chickens aren't really growing in really dark, damp areas. They're loving the sun. Like it gets, it's up on top of a hill right here. We have some back at our wood pile that pretty much gets sun all day. But look at that. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Yeah. Now here's a pretty good example of one that's too far gone. It's very uh, it's kind of like foamy the way it breaks apart. Or, uh, oh, I know what it's like. It's like cork. So you don't want to eat it like that. That's at your stomach. But I know where this is. I've been driving by here for years, looking at all this stuff, wondering if it's edible. We finally made the jump, and uh, darn right it is. But this is a pretty good area, right? It's pretty insane. There's about 10 major clusters in, right in here. You know, this one will grow, and it'll die off. There's already been a bunch that have died off, you know, a month ago. Um, I think they start coming out in the spring, maybe in June. And then they just go through their cycles on various trees. So it's something that you can pretty much forage all summer. All right, I know we have one more big clump to get. Wow. Kind of rubbery when you cut through it too, you can hear it. That's it. We're gonna go home, clean these up, 
freeze some, maybe have a little snack. And then uh, and I think next we'll look for some hen of the woods and see what else we have on this property. Seems to be quite a bit around here. Thanks for watching.